All right, next step is to prepare the case half for the installation of the second case half. So in order to do that, we have to, to seal the engine, we have to put uh, sealant along the spine flange of the case half and then on the, the lower spine of the front case half as well. Um, we're gonna follow the service instructions for this. This is light combing service instruction, 1125 Delta is the current one. So this is for preparing the case halves for uh, assembly. There's a couple different approved sealants. The first one is POB number four. If you use that one, you have to use silk thread as well as your gasket. The POB is there to hold the, the silk seal in place until you get the case halves together. Well, I'm not using that one. I'm gonna use their alternate one. We're gonna use Loctite 515. Looks like this. Loctite 515, so that's Lycoming's alternate thing. So what they're saying here is it applied to be one on one half only, so apply it to one side only. And then they give you pictures on the second page of where you put it. So we're gonna put it in the shaded areas. There's a couple areas of caution that we need to be aware of. We cannot allow the sealant to go into the engine in any way. So there's bearing cavity right here for the cam, for the cam, for the cam, for the cam. We can't let that sealant drip down in there. So it's gotta be thin enough that it covers that flange but doesn't go down. If you look at these arrows here, it points out, it says note, ensure that the area above camshaft is free of sealant. So you can't actually put it all the way down there. You gotta go on the top half of the flange and leave just the very inner edge free and clear. Uh, especially above the cam bearing. So here's a cam bearing, the space above that. Here's a cam bearing, the space above that. Here's a cam bearing, space above that. Cam bearing, space above that. And then we go all around. So you're essentially seeing the outside part of the flange for the case halves. And then on the bottom, you don't have to go the whole distance. You're only going from the front to where it connects to the sump. So same deal. Where the sump is, we don't, it doesn't need to be sealed because that oil just drains into the sump. So we don't care if it leaks there, that's fine. So we're gonna do this part now. So on the engine, the lower part, we're gonna put sealant through this area. We don't have to do this here because that's external to the engine. Sealant, sealant, sealant to here. That's your, your uh, the flange, so your uh, crank seal will go down in this groove. We don't want any of that going down in there. We'll put that seal on later. On the top side of the engine, so we're gonna put sealant along here. We don't worry about that so much. That gets sealed with an O-ring. Sealant, sealant, sealant to here. We're gonna go not all the way down to that bearing, but we're gonna stop just short. So we're gonna put sealant kind of along that shadow mark right there. All along there, same here. We don't go down to the bearing, we go up to about here. Sealant, sealant, same here, another bearing. Sealant. And then this part back here is in the accessory case, so it can leak that way, that's okay. But we'll go around the hole, or uh, on this side of the hole to there. So we're gonna seal that. Uh, I'm gonna apply the sealant and then I'll do another video showing that.